Is United Kingdom will be the modern day the sick man of Europe? Hmm. The sick man of Europe it was a reference to the country who is in declining power, weakened economy, and political instability. The phrase has since been used to describe other countries or regions that face similar challenges or difficulties. The sick man of Europe was historically used to refer to the Ottoman Empire in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. While in that time United Kingdom has been one of the wealthiest countries in the world, particularly during the 19th and early 20th centuries. During this time, the United Kingdom as a major colonial power, controlling a significant portion of the world's resources and trade. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the United Kingdom in the 18th century, also played a significant role in the country's economic growth and development. The development of new technologies and manufacturing processes helped to increase productivity and improve living standards. United Kingdom economy continued to grow and prosper throughout the 20th century, with the country becoming a major financial and business center of the world. But, after World War II end, the United Kingdom economy was severely damaged due to the extensive bombing and destruction of infrastructure. In addition, the country's resources had been depleted by the war effort, and the UK was heavily in debt to the United States. To rebuild the economy, the United Kingdom government implemented a series of economic policies, including nationalization of key industries, increased government spending on infrastructure and social services, and the establishment of a welfare state. This led to a period of economic growth and prosperity, known as the post-war consensus era. The UK also participated in the Marshall Plan, which was a United States program to provide aid to European countries to rebuild their economies. This aid helped to kickstart the United Kingdom economy and rebuild its infrastructure. And during the 1960s, the United Kingdom experienced strong economic growth, with a focus on manufacturing and exports. However, by the 1970s, the United Kingdom economy began to struggle due to global economic changes, including the rise of competition from emerging markets and increased globalization. In addition, the UK faced several domestic challenges during the 1970s, including high inflation, trade union strikes, and a decline in productivity. These factors contributed to a period of economic decline, which led to the UK being labeled the sick man of Europe. But, after implemented a series of economic reforms in the 1980s, including privatization and deregulation, which led to a period of economic growth and prosperity, it make UK remains one of the largest economies in the world, with a focus on service industries such as finance, healthcare, and education. Until in the summer of 2017, the United Kingdom was again referred to as the sick man of Europe following the results of the supposed negative economic effects of the European Union referendum, in the previous year which led to Brexit which has led to the another economic downturn. Brexit which has mean the United Kingdom decision to leave the European Union, has had several negative effects on the country. There is various key effects of Brexit on the UK economy include, trade. One of the most immediate and significant impacts of Brexit has been on trade. As a member of the European Union, the United Kingdom enjoyed free trade with other European Union countries. However, after leaving the European Union, the United Kingdom had to negotiate new trade agreements with other countries. This has resulted in increased bureaucracy, tariffs, and uncertainty, which has had a negative impact on many United Kingdom businesses. Investment, Brexit has also affected investment in the United Kingdom. Many businesses and investors have been hesitant to invest in the United Kingdom due to the uncertainty surrounding Brexit. This has resulted in a slowdown in investment and economic growth. And the last is employment, Brexit has also impacted employment in the United Kingdom. Some businesses have relocated to other European Union countries, resulting in job losses in the United Kingdom. Additionally, there has been a reduction in the number of European Union workers coming to the United Kingdom to work, which has led to labor shortages in some industries. The United Kingdom also has experienced some political instability in recent years, particularly in the aftermath of the Brexit referendum. In the past six years alone between July 2016 until now, UK has five prime minister and it followed by another key factors contributing to political instability in the UK such as Scottish independence, unlike England. Scotland voting to remain in the European Union in the 2016 referendum. Following the Brexit vote, Scotland has been vocal in her opposition to Brexit and has called for a second Scottish independence referendum, arguing that Brexit represents a significant change in circumstances since the previous referendum. In Northern Ireland, Brexit has created uncertainty about the future of the border with the Republic of Ireland, 
which is currently an open border as both countries are members of the European Union. Brexit has had significant implications for both Scotland and Northern Ireland and their relationships with the rest of the UK and the European Union. COVID-19 pandemic somehow has also a role in political instability in the United Kingdom. The pandemic has put significant pressure on the UK government, with many people critical of the government's handling of the crisis. The pandemic has also highlighted existing inequalities within society, which has led to increased political tensions. But over all the sick man of Europe it's not an accurate or appropriate way to describe the United Kingdom today. While the United Kingdom, like all countries, faces challenges and issues, it remains one of the world's most developed and prosperous nations. It has a highly diversified economy, world-class universities and a strong cultural heritage. Cheers.